came back to doing what I've called you to do. And I've said this to say this. I want to tell you, there's been many times in my walk with God, amen, that you would get into a, a swamp or a desert place, so to speak, and, and I try to pray my way out, and, and it worked some, amen, read your way out, but I tell you what worked more is like prepare our message and get back just to doing what God had called me to do and preach my way right out of some wilderness. And I believe there's some people in here, you can sing your way out of the wilderness, you can teach your way out of the wilderness, but you're never going to achieve victory in the situation you're in. Amen. Remain disobedient. The only way to do it is being obedient to God. And it's through our obedience that we're going to come out of where we're at. I'm in a valley preacher and I don't know how to get out. Get back to doing what thus saith the Lord. That's how you get out. Because sometimes He uses that old valley to bring us to that very place where we have to decide the reality that until I'm doing what God wants me to do, amen, there ain't much hope for me to get out of this hole that I'm in, but we've got to, amen, get back to business with God. Amen. amen. Something comes to mind just then. That's dangerous. But let me, let me say this. Some people say, but you just don't know what I'm going through and it seems like I, I am in a hole and I can't get out and amen and this is happening and that's happening. How many of us just gotta shake that stuff off? Amen, like old uh, Paul did, amen, that old serpent, shake that stuff off and get back to doing what God has called you to do. Reminds me of uh, this old goat. Huh? <laughs> Fell in a well. Ever heard the story? Farmer come out and his goat's in the well. Can't okay, get him out. He don't want him starting to death, so he decides to bury him. He gets his shovel, and he shovels up a lot of dirt, and throws it on the, in the well, hits that old goat's back, and old goat shakes it off, and puts it under his feet. The farmer throws another shovel of dirt in there, and he shakes it off, all that dirt, puts it under his stands up, puts it under his feet. After hours and hours of doing that, that old goat kept shaking it off and putting it under his feet, and before you know it, he just went over and that old goat just walked right out, stepped right out of that well. Amen. Can I tell you tonight? Amen. You say, I feel like the devil's trying to bury me. Can I tell you tonight under the unction of the Holy Ghost? Shake it off and get it under your feet. Amen. Get, when you shake things off and get it under your feet, it elevates you to a higher height in God. Amen. You said the preacher that 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 dirt's troubling, but man, I'm stronger because of the issues I went through. You'll be wiser because of what you've went through. But we gotta get back to being obedient with God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. But he said, Go anoint 